Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us together. I ask that your Holy Spirit please speak through me and let me just be your speaker, Father, in the name of Jesus. Only let your Holy Spirit teach what you want to teach in Jesus' my name. And Father, I know I lack a lot, Father, but Holy Spirit, let, let your Spirit just inspire me in this moment and inspire each one of our hearts. Let our hearts be open in meekness to receive the word from, from God, Father. In the name of Jesus, I ask you, uh, Father, let us be meek and humble and and corrected in every way. In Jesus, my name, we give you praise and honor and glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Uh, yeah, today I kind of want to talk to you about um, being uh, fervent, fervent in the Lord, um, <clears throat> being, a, being, a, being close to God. You know, like a lot of people say, oh, why do we have to uh, you know, serve Jesus and why do we have to you know, love the Lord? You know, well, what did he really do for us? You know, like that kind of like, manner they have. Uh, what, what is God? Why do I need to serve Him? What, 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 who is He? Why, why do I have to do anything for Him? You know? But, uh, you know, He created, first of all, the whole world, this whole universe. You know, and He created us. Nobody can say that building was built by itself. Right? Nobody can say that. And nobody can say this, this house or this, this um, bike that you're riding on, it built itself. Nobody can say that. But many people say that, oh, nobody built us and we just came into being. You know? Oh yeah, then, then why is there oh, a male and female in, in animals? Well, this, 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 just like the evolution theory that just cells just come out out of nowhere and they divide it and divide it and divide it. I don't know how the, they, they come up with the DNA processing, but they somehow did. Right, the DNA processing, whatever, all these coding, and they just wanted to divide, divide, and into male and into female, and then they want to have sex all of a sudden. Does it make sense to you? But that's what they teach evolution all over millions and millions, billions of years. Everything came into perfect being. That's just a lie of the devil. Nothing, nothing can come by itself. Even every simple design of this iPad that he's playing with, <laughs> you know. Even these designs, you know, like there's like these curves. This is a design. The, 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 the camera being here is a design. This doesn't just come up by itself. You know how complex this is? This is a camera. This is a, the, the, what is it called? Ear. Yeah, ear. That, that My, ear microphone. Like a, microphone. It's like a microphone, right? Microphone, two. Two, not just one. Two eyes, two, two, to see things in 3D, three-dimensional. You know, because these are two cameras able to see things in a three-dimensional manner so that when a ball flies at you, you're able to catch it, you know what I'm saying? And, and this response system from the brain, it's a computer. And this thing came by itself over millions of years. Oh, by evolution. You know, evolution is interesting if you say in, in this way. Okay, so the cell was just a blob, right? In the beginning, like if you say, if it's by evolution, it's just a blob, cell, organism, right? And then somehow it has a mind to be creative and to think, right? So, okay, I think, uh, I think okay, there's some sunlight coming in, so I think I want to develop some system, some system to receive this light to turn it into energy, right? Right, the cell, cell. Oh, and somehow there's some water around me. I want to absorb it and then turn it into for my own use. Come on, the cell really can think all that and have a design in his head. Okay, now I'm gonna build it like a factory in my system, in this little cell organism system, okay, to receive the light and transform that energy into something that I need. You know, come on, it's so complex. That doesn't just happen. It's all ideas. Like I just told you, this curve this curve right here was not some accident. They designed it purpose with a purpose. You know, they designed it in a curve. Or else it'll be just straight like a rectangle, right? But they, they, they made it curvy, you know, everything like that. They had a mind, they had a design mind. Now, we, we, we cannot, nowhere, you know, in, in, in our, cannot just produce itself. Everything is a system, it has a systematic thing, you know, we eat. And, 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 it, and it generates energy. It's a system. It's like a factory in, the, in our body. 
It's a little factor, yeah. It is. Because the heart has a purpose of pumping the, 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 the blood, you know? All the, the nervous system in here transfers this, the signals, you know, to, to heart to pump, you know, to everything, you know? It's, it's, a, it's a whole mechanism, it's a system. Mm -hmm. And people say, oh, there's no God. God didn't create us. Nature created us. How? Then they make the nature God? It doesn't make sense. So, so don't, don't, don't believe when people say, there's no God. They're just, just, just too prideful. They think they, the money just pops into their heart pocket without working. Does money just pop into your pocket out of magic? Oh, oh I need money. Magically, money just pops. It doesn't happen that way. You gotta work. You gotta put some work in it to earn money. Right? Even if they did buy some witch, witchcraft power, they work on the witchcraft power to generate some kind of miracle. Right? Nothing, nothing is by accident. There's no such thing. And yet, God created us, and what we do? We, we, we rebel. You know what the definition of sin is? It's just not doing what God wants us to do. That's sin. God wants us to do something in His way. And we don't do it. That's sin. That's simply it. And the other part of sin is not... Um, um, not doing what he wants us to do and not um, not, not, not keeping the way he, he wants us to, to, to live. You know, like, um, for example, is the same thing? Like um, doing something that he don't want us to do? <laughs> yeah, not doing what he wants us to do and then doing stuff that he doesn't want us to do. It doesn't make sense? It's the same thing? No, it's not the same thing. No, it's not the same thing? Okay. Never mind, sorry for the confusion. <laughs> it's confusing to me too. Yeah, like anyway, <laughs> just, that's, just, that's just evil because you look at Jesus, God commanded the sun to shine light, right? And then light without no discussion whatsoever. He does, the sun doesn't even complain. The sun just like, emits light. You know, Jesus says, earth, let it spin. And the earth without, without telling you nothing, <laughs> Or spins on its own, like every day. Nobody's telling him to do anything, but it just, just spins, 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 spins. Because God just told it to do. The angels of God, if they even disobey one commandment of the Lord, they get thrown out and they become Satan. You know? They get thrown out by disobeying God. And the angels all follow. 100 person, they're like, God tells you, no Christian whatsoever. God tells you to, to kill those evil men, no Christian. No question, no, it just kills. Whatever. And we humans, God, God made us like gods so that we can we can um, be his children. But we as children, we don't we don't follow God. And then to, to these angels' eyes, it's like cannot happen. Cannot understand. Cannot get the angels do not understand. These don't obey God and they're not killed like right away. You know? Like God let them live. You know how, how thankful we should be? We should be super thankful. And on top of that, and on top of it, to forgive us, he says, okay, okay, you guys mess up. I know. I know you guys mess up. Okay. For that, I'll kill my only begotten son, Jesus Christ, for you. Why? What, what are we? That, that God would kill his only son for us. You know? What are you? What are you, you know? We're like, evil being, you know? Jesus says, if you lie, you become what? A liar, right? If you steal something. Have you guys stolen something before? Something at least a little tiny thing? Even an MP3 is stealing. Even watching a movie that is recorded in some place okay. and then watching that, you're partaking in the thieving. You're stealing something. Okay? That costs money to make the movie. It costs a lot of effort. But we're just taking for free. That's stealing. We, we are thieves then. You know, if you hated somebody, you know, oh, I hate that guy, I hate that guy, then we are to kill that guy in our heart. We are to murder in our heart. And we are murderers in our heart. If he spoke evil against anybody, oh, you, blah, 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 bad, 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 you know, bad words, attacking words, we kill them with our words. We kill their ego, we kill, we kill their uh, self-esteem, we put them down, you know, even talking bad down to Tony is bad. It's bad, you know? 
forgive us, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> you Tony, know? you're good. Yeah. We love you. <laughs> yeah. You are good. <laughs> and and, and we, 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 we continually to do this, even if we believe in Jesus, we continually to sin, you know? Jesus tells, tells in our heart, okay, it's time to pray, but then we go like, oh, I'm tired, I gotta go to sleep, you know? And we do what we want to do. God inspires us in that way. And Holy Spirit here, Holy Spirit, let's say, let's say Tony's, we're just Holy Spirit, right? Let's say he is, okay? Oh, yeah. Where he, he's here, and then if you're here, you should like talk to him, right? Oh, how are you doing? You know, how's it going? You know, everything. You know, oh, I need some help. Can you help me this? Can you do this for me? Blah, blah, and help me. Like that. But, but just because Holy Spirit invisible does not mean he's there, you know? Does not mean he's not there. So, so what we're doing is just ignoring. Okay, I got to do my homework. Do homework. All day long, just ignoring him. Just ignoring him. He's exist. You know? Just ignoring him. Ignoring him all day long. We cannot, we cannot be like that. God wants us to have real relationship, like we said. You know, let's not ignore these these little things. And and more on top of that, on on top of the Holy Spirit's watching and everything, we're doing bad things. Oh, we're thinking of evil things in our heads. You know, we're 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 not doing what God wants us to do. We're just just right out sinning, doing bad things. You know, or wanting something that is vain, seeking after things that are that are not good. You know, we, can, we cannot live like this. True, true born again Christians want to please God. They want to do what pleases the Father, because because there's this realization how much God did for us. Mm. You know, what are we that that Jesus had to suffer the, all that the beating and the, the pain? You know, he was whipped with the whip cords, and at the whip cords there's these rocks on it. You know, that when it whip, you know, it'll 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 totally like a. Uh, Bruise the skin, bruise the skin, and then it'll, it'll totally make it rip later on. And then there are these sharp, sharp things at the edge of the, the whip that when you want to put it, it clings onto the flesh and it rips, rips the back, basically. He's whipped like crazy stuff. The Roman soldier was cruel. You know why it was whipped? For us. He didn't do anything wrong. He just was innocent man. He came to heal people. And then deliver the message of God that anybody that believes in the Lord will be saved. He just came to save them. He healed them. He fed people. You know, he 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 was nice to the children and stuff like that. Widows. At the time, there were. At the time, at that time, women were not treated nice. Women was like a second, <clears throat> second citizen. And more on top of that, children were just not as valid as women. There's a there's this rank. Man is top. Woman is second, and the children are just whatever, they're just workers until they grow up and they're getting out of their house. It was like that. But Jesus was nice unto the woman. Jesus was nice unto the children. The, the disciple says, oh, they, they, they hinder these children trying to come to him and then touch him or something, right? And then the disciple says, oh, get out, you children. You don't, you're, you're not here for a holy, holy man, you know? You, can't, you have no right to touch Jesus. And then Jesus said, hey, forbid them not to touch me for, for these belong belong to the the kingdom of God belong to these little children. And the disciples, what? Children? Come on, they're just kids. They're just foolish foolish beings that needs educate that needs education. But yet Jesus treated them as better than adults. You know, better than other people. And he treated the woman nice. People were they were wondering when Jesus talked to the Samaritan woman by the well disciples wonder, why is he talking to a woman? Plus, she's not even Samaritan, Jewish woman. Yeah. She's a Samaritan woman. Mm. She's not even Jewish. What is wrong with Jesus? Why is he doing that? You know, you know you're not supposed to talk to some lower beings, and yet she's preaching to them. She's evangelizing to, to the woman to save her. You know, why? Jesus did not discriminate you know, people upon what they were. Because this is, this is just flesh. This is not what determines us. It's what we do with the spirit that God gave us that determines our life. You know what I'm saying? It's not this, this how good you look, how well you are, how wealthy you are, how high position you are. God does not look at that. God looks at the heart mm -hmm. and he judges by that. Okay, this guy, you know, he serves the Lord with all his heart, all that, all that he got, he gives unto the Lord. I recognize him as good. <coughs> Bless you. For, 
for other people go like, oh, this guy, even though may the, the world may recognize him as famous and righteous and, 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 and rich and, and just successful man, I don't recognize him as good. I know what he does, the evil things that he does behind that nobody sees. But God only knows. He, God knows. God, God just according to what they really do and say and what they think in their heart. God just according to that. So, yeah, yeah, Willie, why don't you come and uh, share your testimony a little bit? That's cool. I got really inspired by her, what she did during the week. Why don't you share that first? Huh? Why don't you share what you did during the week? Hello. Hello, you two. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, well, what I do recently is that um, I think you guys have learned mm -hmm. a lot for talking to Holy Spirit, which... Alfred has been talking to you guys all the time, talking to the Holy Spirit. I knew since I was become a, become a big believer, I knew it, but I never do it. I like to listen to music when I go to school. I like to read something when I go to school. I don't talk to the Holy Spirit. I go to school. I go to school. Sometimes Alfred is with me. I talk to Alfred. Friends with me. I talk to friends. When I go by myself, I feel lonely. Well, basically, that's, that's what happened to me for the past two years. I wasn't. This quarter, offer stop going to school with me. So basically, I go to school by myself. And I start to learn to talk to Holy Spirit. And that really changed my life. Because from the moment when I get off my home, I start to talk to Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit, oh, the weather is so good. Oh, I love you, Holy Spirit. Oh, praise God, you're so beautiful. Oh, that's all I do from home to train station, from train station to school. Until I come back home. When I see offer, I have to talk to Holy uh, offer. I don't talk to the Holy Spirit anymore. But like the whole day when I sit in the library, oh, but oh, Tony's not, most of the time he's not there anymore, remember? Mm -hmm. Do you feel that Tony, that at the beginning of the quarter, I try to ask you to study with me all the time? Yeah. But now I don't really ask you to anymore. Yeah. Because I feel like, oh, I have a good time with Holy Spirit, and Tony. Later, no, but you know, <laughs> I don't feel that lonely anymore. And that, that's really, really changed. And something happened to me after I talked to the Holy Spirit that much. Remember, like, how you at the beginning that when you just get saved, remember how God helped you with your exam, oh, yeah. right? Remember that the same thing happened to me. That um, of course from now on I was like asking God to do everything for me. I was like, Oh Lord, I don't know how to do this homework. Help me do this homework. I don't know this project. I have no ideas. Help me give me more ideas. And this exam, of course. Oh Lord, help me with my exams. That's what I do. When I start pray, when I start the exam, I pray. And the Holy Spirit has got to tell me. I don't know which one I did wrong. I got, you got to tell me. But that's what I do. And when I do in the whole exam, well, I make some mistakes and Holy Spirit right away just tell me, oh, this is wrong. Clear. Oh, okay. So I change it, everything. And I was like, nobody really like give the hand over their paper. And nobody really leave. So I was like, should I leave or not? Should I look it over again? I'm thinking about it. And all of a sudden, I hear a voice in my heart. And he's saying, he said, you got full scores. Just give to the professor. I was like, okay. <laughs> and I left. I'm so happy. I thought I'm full scores. And when I uh, come back next class, and the professor started to say, oh, the average score is not that high, or well, it's kind of low, blah, blah, blah. And I saw the scores. And I said, there's one person get four scores. And I was like, it's not going to be me. I never have this kind of good scores in my life. So the professor started to hand. Micro economies. Oh, micro? Eight, I get 87 out of 85. Oh yeah, and uh, when Professor handed off the paper, and I was like getting nervous again. I was like, man, I should have not listened to the voice. You know, I probably can check it again. So I get more good score than I'm thinking. And I was like, Where, where's my paper? Where's my paper? I'm so anxious. And all of a I hear was again. And he said, he said, don't worry. You are that one. And I was like, hallelujah. <laughs> and I get that paper. And that, that is so true. And what, whatever the voice told me, that happened to me. And then that, that shocked me a lot. And I was like, I don't know, I can hear Holy Spirit. And that really happened to me. And after that, a lot of things happened to me. Like every day, I start to ask God to do everything for me. Everything that, you know, I have a Chinese prayer online. And I'm supposed to lead on 4.30 in the afternoon, which is 5 o'clock in Beijing time. But I'm late. But I know where to call the people in my group so they can wake up to leave for me. Because if I'm, I'm not be there, nobody's going to be there. So I was like, oh man, I'm going to be late. Oh, what's going to do? Nothing to do, pray. 
Oh God, please wake up certain certain people. Please wake her up so she can leave for me. And so I do the prayer. So I go home. She's there already. I'm so happy. So I, I typed on QQ. I said, you know what? I pray that God wake you up. And she told me this her side of the story. She said, you know what? At 5:30, I hear the voice in, in me say, wake up right now because the group needs your help. And she's like, she so she started to reply to God. She said, today is not my turn. I should sleep. So she's oh, gonna sleep. And when she's still thinking that her body is already up, and she's like, kind of asleep. She's like, man, are you serious, guy? So she like opened the QQ. Oh, nobody's there. She said, oh, I guess. So, and then she find out that it's because of me, I made the prayer. And she's like, oh, that's because of you. I couldn't sleep. And then it's just so. I, I when I hear, I was like, well, God is just everywhere. Like, I don't have cell phone, but I got Holy Spirit. When I talk to the Holy Spirit, he do his job in another side of China, in another side of in the earth. That's just so weird. And this kind of thing happened to me, like, a lot for a few days. Like, everything, like, let me tell you the story that yesterday you pissed me off. I was so pissed. No, this is probably morning. Okay. I, I would get pissed off in the morning because there's one Christian saying that I should have wear an earring as a Christian. And I was so pissed off because I, was, I think it's not a big deal, right? So I started getting angry. And when I get on the way, I start to talk to Holy Spirit. I say, Holy Spirit, I think I think I don't I don't think I'm right. I said, if I did anything wrong, please forgive me. And I said, if you, if you can give me one more chance so I can kind of pass the test this time because I feel this morning. It pissed me off. I really get angry. So I was like, oh please give me one more chance, maybe I can. Use your strength to over this, over this test, over control my temper. That's what I'm thinking. And you, you, you are the one that God used to, to test my temper again. <laughs> yeah, really. I, I'm thinking. I was like, the whole day nobody pissed me off. So I was like, oh, that's good. You know, I, I, I'm gonna make this prayer. I think God gave me a chance so I can, you know, control myself. And now you show up in the afternoon. You didn't show up. That's the point. You didn't show up. Okay, and. Until like eight o'clock, you didn't show up. Oh yeah. And I was still kind of very peaceful. I was like, I'm not gonna piss off my Tony. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good. And all of the Tony showed up in QQ. Oh, I'm gonna come up look for you. I said okay. So I wait there. I sit there. I wait like 15 minutes at the elevator, standing there waiting for you. Oh, no. But you're not there. So I said maybe I should go sit down. So I go to the library. I sit down. Wait another 30 minutes. Wait for you. And that's the moment when you say, Oh, I'm not coming back. And that's the moment where I, I can kind of feel like that's kind of like touched my age, you know. I was like, ah! Really? I hear you just super pissed off? No, I'm not. No. And then right that moment, mm -hmm. I just know Holy Spirit just tell me, this is your test. This is your test. I was like, ah, 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 you know? <laughs> deep breeze, deep breeze, you know. So I praise God I, all the way home. That's the only, that's like, the only tech I, technique I know to overcome, I, I know I, because I was so pissed, I, I couldn't like hold it. I was like, praising God, praising God. I was on the train, I was like, praising God. I was like, oh Lord, you're good. You give me this opportunity. I can overcome, I can overcome. Until I go home, I totally forgot about you. I totally forgot this thing. I was so happy, I was so joyful. I go home, I wash everything, clean everything. I cook the whole cookies for us, everybody. I'm so happy. And I tell Alfred what happened. I was like, I say, I passed the test. I passed the test. And that's really like, I want to encourage you guys too because that can change your life if you talk to the Holy Spirit and you realize that God is so real. God is so real to me and He's just like doing like every day, every from morning to night, even today He's testing me. Today God gave me something, God touched my heart again in the morning. And every day He's replying me right now. That's something that surprised me. And I encourage you guys and challenge you guys to do the same thing to talk to the Holy Spirit. Especially if you guys are single. Like that's something I find single can be good. Because you know distraction. When I go home, I see Alfred. I totally forgot about God. You know, I was talking to Alfred, Alfred, Alfred. But single is good. Single, we can talk to talk to Holy Spirit 24, 24 7. And that's just good. That's just they, they really like dating. That's really like dating. I feel like wonderful and. Well, that's just why I feel recently. I'm still in this mood and I. I wish I could keep this continually. Thank you, Emily. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> while she was, uh, while she was, uh, <laughs> like, uh, 
doing this, that I, I thought of this song, Little Drummer Boy, that I got to listen to this cantata. It's not some rock band thing. Do you know this song? No. Um, it's, it's a very old song. It's very famous. Go to here. to bring. No. Look upon the newborn king. one is symbolic. I'll get into symbolic later. But then um, this lyrics, when I was listening to this Cantata Music Festival, I was like, hmm, I don't know what this really means. And I started looking at the lyrics. And I was like, wait a minute, this is revelation. This is some great, great revelation. Uh, let 